Nightmare unfolds for a couple who plan to have a wedding inside of a hotel in Cabo. Structural concerns forced the venue to close its doors following the disaster in South Florida. Courtney Zabowski is here now with a story you'll see only on two. Courtney. Lord and Andy, Laura Spiegel and Noah Michler can't wait to say I do, but their trip down the aisle in front of friends and family has taken a few unexpected turns. When it comes to the wedding of Laura Spiegel and Noah Michler, it's not a case of cold feet, but rather just bad luck. I was definitely in a panic. COVID forced the Houston couple to delay their plans once. And Laura says it's what happened in Surfside, Florida, that deadly high-rise collapse that may have led to their plans changing twice. I was definitely shocked and surprised by what the reasoning was. I was not expecting it at all. The soon-to-be Michaelers planned their wedding in Mexico, in Cabo at the three-year-old Salaz, a Marriott property. It was going to be in January, outside on the Calypso oceanfront deck. A week and a half ago, she got a call from her wedding planner. They said that the Marriott is doing tests on all their properties to make sure that you know, what happened in Miami would never happen again. The hotel shut down indefinitely. The Salah's website says it's to address immediate and unanticipated infrastructure needs. It's been a rocky road. A road that, while frustrating, Noah says, one, that they are on together. We're happy that everyone's safe and it's the right thing to do. And uh, in light of what happened in, in Miami, it's, it's important. And... We feel glad that, that they're taking the proper precaution. The destination is now going to be Houston for Laura and Noah's wedding, yeah. and their focus right now and, is on um, what matters most. Love you. Love you. <laughs> love you. Aww. That's right. We reached out to the Marriott. A spokesperson said there wasn't a specific incident outside the hotel that prompted the inspection. They are working with bridal parties to find solutions and alternative venues. Courtney Zabowski, KPRC 2 News. Courtney, thank you.